Welcome to Tech Photo Blog. This is episode number 12. This week I'm going to be talking about how to set up the second revision of my projectile sensor so that you can take really amazing pictures of shooting bullets and all sorts of other projectiles. The schematic and PCB board files along with the build materials for the projectile sensor is at cameraax.com on the sensors page, just like all my other sensors. But for those ordering it from the store, it'll come in a plastic bag like this. And there'll be three boards inside. There'll be this main board. There'll be an emitter board with uh, two IR LEDs that emit IR light. And there'll be the photo detector board with these two high-speed photo transistors that detect the light coming out of those LEDs. Then to assemble it, all you need to do is plug the main board into the photo detector board, and then there's the emitter side of the main board, and that connects into the uh, emitter board. And you can't really connect these boards to the wrong side because there's a different number of pins for each board. So at this point, it's pretty much assembled. But what I do next is I look at it from the side to make sure everything is um, aligned properly and at a nice right angles. And once that looks good, I look at it from the other side. And if anything isn't quite right, you can bend the board until it looks good. And then I look at it from the top and I make sure that these photo transistors are lined up with their LEDs. And if they're not, you can again bend each of these a little bit until everything's aligned properly. Then at this point, you want to connect the projectile sensor to the camera axe. And sensor number one on the camera axe will go to sensor number one on the projectile sensor, like that. And then sensor number two goes to sensor number two again on the projectile sensor. And at this point things are um, correctly connected. And we can turn on the camera axe. So these cables are really short just so I can fit everything in the frame on this video. But when they actually come to you they'll be six foot long cables so you can position the camera axe a bit away from the actual projectile sensor. I'm going to use uh, this general sensor menu to make sure everything is connected and aligned properly. Um, to do that, you want to make sure that device number one is pointing to sensor number or is using sensor number one, and that device number two is using sensor number two. And if it's not set up to do that, you just scroll through this menu until it says sensor number two. And because we're just testing the board here, those are the only values that matter. And then we're going to scroll down to the trigger value and that second number the 999 that's the value being currently read by the sensor so we want to make sure that those are you know the values being read are correct uh, and 999 is the correct default value when nothing is blocking this sensor and when your hand goes in front of it you'll see that it drops down to 17 and that tells me that this first sensor is working correctly. And then the second sensor, which is connected to sensor number two on the projectile um, sensor, if I put my finger in front of that one, that also drops down to a low value. So it looks like it's working. Uh, that means everything's aligned correctly. Now, if things weren't aligned correctly, let's say that's a little bent there. Um, Now the values aren't, you know, being reported correctly, and if I put my hands in front of them, then uh, things aren't going to, you know, change at all. But now if I bend it so that it's aligned again, um, we've got the correct behavior. Everything looks good again. At this point, we can hit the menu button to go to the projectile menu. Now, with this menu, you can set up the distance 
And what that is, is that's the distance from the second of the sensors to where you want the bullet when the flash is triggered. So you'd have a flash plugged into camera flash number one. And um, right now it's set to inches. So six inches past the sensor is where the bullet will be when the uh, flash is triggered. And you can go down here to the distance units and change that to centimeters if you want. Now it's six centimeters. Go back to inches. And you can, of course, change this between um, 900 or 99.9 .9 and zero. You just adjust that to whatever you want it. On the uh, second version of the projectile sensor, this low high trigger is always going to be low. Uh, on the first version, it was high, but right right now, for every version two board, it's um, it, it should be set to low to work properly. And when I hit activate, it says it's ready for a projectile. So if you um, put your hand in front of sensor number one, it says, well, sensor two didn't trigger. Basically, it's going to give it one second for the bullet to get from this sensor to this sensor. And if that doesn't happen, then it's going to say it didn't detect anything on sensor number two. If I put my hand in front of sensor number two, nothing happens. And the reason for that is because it's constantly polling sensor number one to see if something's gone past it. And if nothing goes past sensor number one, it's never going to look to sensor number two. Another problem that can happen is if the second sensor isn't aligned, so it's not receiving light from this uh, LED, then when something passes through the first sensor, it's going to report back, you know, 41,666 feet per second, which just doesn't make any sense. That's much faster than any gun could shoot a bullet. So that's basically the maximum speed that the camera X can report back, and that will mean that, you know, something's not aligned correctly with a second sensor. So, you know, you, you readjust that, and once you've got that lined up again, then the sensor should work. Now if I push my hand through here, I moved it through pretty slowly, and it said that my hand was moving at around 8 inches per second. Now, if I push my hand through much faster, whoops, I went above the board, it now says my hand went at 4 feet per second. So it switched from inches to feet, and it does that switch over at 48 inches per second. Um, it'll switch over to 4 feet at that point, and the reason for that is projectiles that I use tend to go between 200 and 800 uh, feet per second, so I didn't really want to wait, uh, or I didn't want to have a huge number of inches, but at the slower speeds it's sort of nice to see the inches, so I just have that switch over. And for the metric system, I, the switch over happens at uh, 100 centimeters becomes one meter. I think it's really nice that it displays you know, how many feet per second. That, that's kind of a, a nice feature then you know about how fast your projectiles are going. And another thing I really like about this board is it, it makes setting these things up so much easier that you just program the number of inches beyond this point um, for where you want the, the bullet to be when you take a photograph. Before this I was using a microphone sensor and I had to play around with different um, delays and that was just, you know, it was a lot of trial and error to get things every, to get everything set up. With this, you just, you know, type in what you want and you're good to go. Uh, this will position a pellet, um, traveling at around 800 feet per second to within about a sixteenth of an inch, which is much more accurate than I could ever get the microphone sensor, which seemed to vary about a half an inch to an inch for me. Um, so, you know, you can get, you know, really high speed projectiles within a sixteenth of an inch and of where you want them in the photo, which is, you know, pretty amazing. One last thing I'll point out with this sensor is that the recoil of the gun sometimes shakes things around a bit, and that can cause false triggers. So what some people on the forums have done is attach some 2x4s to the side to sort of stiffen everything up, and they glue down, um, or glue together these boards, and that makes everything much more stable and uh, reliable. 
I think that's you know a great idea and once I've done a little bit more experimenting in that area I'll probably do a future video about that kind of um, setup but for now I'll just put a link to the forum articles that the people have put up uh, in the show notes for this blog and you know take a look they've done some really amazing work there and we'll end with some photos from Alan he's taken some of my favorite photos with the projectile sensor and I'll put a link to his Flickr stream in the show notes. Thanks for watching.